Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. So, in this video, I want to continue some more. The Archon Quest first. We met Chi Chi last time, eh? Okay. So, we continue from there. Oh, this? Did I just found it? It's huge! <laughs> okay. Paimon can totally believe it took an Adeptus to build this. But how do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Oh, what? It broke? After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. So what are we gonna do? Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society <laughs> knowledge powers! Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite bourgeois. whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. Never heard of that word before. That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case it was damaged in battle. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we in may be there? able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. So, what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. Okay. We need to find the parts then. From the mythos of... Okay. I feel like I've been here before. More speed. Oh well, yeah, I have been here before. I've lighted this up before, yeah. Oh, this place. Yeah, I have been here before. Oh, I see. I should have gone here. Repair the Guizan Ballista. Okay. That opens the doors. Okay. Okay, so now what? Ah, these parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. Ooh! Now how do we turn it on? It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look. Ooh. It even has a scope. Okay. Over here we have... nothing. And over there... more nothing. Oh, treasure hey, holders. Just what do you think you're doing? So you fixed up this turret, because you're planning to do what, exactly? Not a turret. A Guizhong Ballista. <laughs> also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders, old man. Right. This area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures, but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. It might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. It's got a mind of its own. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. Ooh, so it's... It's, a, uh, It attacked them by itself. A few of us Is risked it? our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds and so you've already the got it, repaired it! Destroyed it, okay. Next thing you'll be repairing is your faces, <laughs> and that's if you get out of this alive. Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. It is not we who need reprimanding, but you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oi. You wait. No, you. Are you kidding me? I have to go back up there. Damn you guys. You're open. More speed. Eye for an eye. Hmm. 
They respawn if they fall. Eh? God damn it. Ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi Chi. Oh, yeah, that! Yep. So we've got the Guizhong Ballista working, but where's our Coca Goat? A search <laughs> using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast, as Chi Chi put it. Okay. Which means... Uh... A Paimon wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Explain that we could not find a Cocoa Goat and review our next step. Cocoa. Good idea. <sighs> okay. We did our best and that's what counts. So we go back to Chi Chi. Oh, Chi Chi is there. Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepta Beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Oh, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? Um, what do you need this Coco Goat for? Do you have any other clues? Coco Goat milk is tasty. So tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an Adepta Beast could make such tasty milk. I'm sorry. I have a... Poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Okay. Where <laughs> did I put it? Ah, here. This is the name. Coconut milk. Coconut milk? There's a... Huh? There's a beast with it? I owe you both an apology. <laughs> I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Never mind, Zhongli. You didn't know. As the Liyue proverb goes, all things are random Where and... Where is Paimon in here? Um, so how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi Chi say a bad thing? Oh, sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this hey. poor kiddo's world to you. Uh, <laughs> tell you where coconut trees come from. It all begins with the fruit of the coconut tree. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. No, Im impossible. <laughs> Seems Chi Chi took this pretty hard. She needs, yeah, she needs time to work through it. <laughs> Oh, who's this? Someone learnt a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi-Chi. Might I ask who? Ah, how Baizu. Me. I'm Baizu. Oh, Baizu is a boss. Okay. Hi, man. That Chi-Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his back. Why is Paimon over there? <laughs> This is a bug. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi Chi. Ooh, that was a white snake speaking. Ah, the medicine, the snake is speaking. Nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> I prefer to stay silent, but faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent. <laughs> Chung Don't Shen. mind Chung Shou. <laughs> She's a good girl, really. As for you three, communal chaos causing with Chi-Chi aside, what business brings you here? Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? 
everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Oh, at last. Things are finally starting to come together. Three million more. I'm on his buck. <laughs> Guaranteed. Three million. Uh, you might as well rob the golden house. Uh. You might as well just rob the golden house. Okay, Paimon said it. Oh, but the chasing have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. It's a crazy number. We'd never be able to make that much more of. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. <laughs> because Zhang Li doesn't bring any money. Hey, well, we can ask Sing Chao for help again, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> this is correct. No shit. What are we gonna do? Uh, is this the part where we go crawling back yeah, to Yeah, or we can just ask Child again, 20 minutes later. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> We're actually asking Child again. Goat. Go, go. <laughs> my God sides hurt. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe you fell for that. God damn it. Hey, less laughter, more sympathy. And where's Paimon? I don't see Paimon. <laughs> I'm almost in tears over here. Uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Okay. Truly honored. I'm child. One of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. One of the Fatui Harbingers, eh? If Ubu Pharmacy needed a stable <laughs> supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with seductive deals, but so much fuss over coconut milk? Coconut <laughs> milk. Baiju, quick, Chi-Chi wants coconut milk. Ah, yes, of course, Chi-Chi, anything you want. <laughs> Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting what? incense, too. Let's say 2,990,000 mora. So, minus 10,000. <laughs> that is like, that is like 0. 0.0... 3% discount. That's like zero difference from 3 million! <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 2,990,000. Also an innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically yeah, speaking, 10, it is a whole 10,000 less. less than the original sum of 3 million. Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Eugene Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, little Miss Chi Chi. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember Good the last damn. time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Who? Yes, Master Child. They spoke oh, of the Chi taking the Golden House. They spoke of the GC. Oh! Oh, they heard that. They heard that. Well, well, well. Ning Wang and her Chi Sing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the Golden House? If not the Exuvia. I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. Oh, man. Well, there's more intel leak to the Fatui, I guess. Everlasting incense. Put them. Put the everlasting incense in place. All right then. This is good. There will be coconut milk from now on. <laughs> yes. Coco co good. It's good. Really. It was coconut. That's what it meant. Bye. What an odd exchange we've had. Well, I look forward to your patronage in the future as well. <laughs> and that sound is the laughter of a man who's found new people to fleece. Consider yourselves warned. Really? This there's like a cutscene for a dialogue like that? <laughs> okay. Let's put the incense thing. 
All right, Zhongli. Well, as it stands, we've hired helpers, and we've acquired the everlasting incense. The completion of our preparations is not far off. Woo! Finally! Yeah. Well, Traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? It's been odd. Odd. I'm not sure we're living the high life or experience the struggles of the poor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided to treat you to a meal. Really? Song Li? Treating? Oh, ah, uh, yes, don't worry. I will remember <laughs> to bring the Mora this time. Okay. Tonight, I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall, praised throughout Liu. Hole in the wall? Hole and in the wall. Cool <laughs> not that, not that, uh, game show. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor at third round knockout. Third round knockout? The long goodbye, what is this? And 6 to 11. Oh, it's already night time. Ah, you're here. There's no need to order. I've already done so. Okay. Third round knockout is not for lightweights, like those taverns in Mondstadt. Here, the owner does not take such unorthodox orders as fruit juice. Does this mean I can order wine this time? Really? I ordered some wine fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that counts. <laughs> If it is to your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Ningguan's Jade Chamber. Lady Ningguan's Jade Chamber? Hey! There's even a storyteller here! Great atmosphere! Besides fine wine, the excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tevat Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. As you all know, High above the land of Liyue lies a pavilion in the clouds, a palace in the mist. What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? This, my friends, Lady Ningguan's masterwork that bridges Ningguan's earth master. and sky. What does it sound like? Ningguan is uh, very high. Like she should be a five-star character like that. I already have Ningguan, <laughs> four-star somehow. But Ningguan is actually... Yeah. Imagine, the weather is clear, and you gaze down from the deck on the world below. Behold, the glorious Ooh. sights of Liyue Harbor, stretching out far and wide. Is that Ganyu? Oh, we got stars. They say that when Lady Ningguan ponders important affairs, she retreats to her jade chamber with none. But her three like closest in? confidants in tow. Okay. Why brings she these trusted three to sift through sources, dig through documents, looking for information? Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Hmm. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded, and whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, look at them, how they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling lizard. As the fragments fall, traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyue, like ink stains and white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the words of the Tianquan have the power to move mountains, and all throughout the land know it. Okay. These are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand. Such is their value. This storyteller guy's voice sounds familiar for some reason. 
Merely grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a fragment of her wisdom. Enough to stay a step or two ahead of your peers. Tiantuan Ningguang. Feels like we're hearing this name a lot. Lily locals talk about her. The Fatui hate her. The She's most her. likely the one who hid the Exuvia. And we saw her at the Rite of Dissension. And she's a four-star character. What's going on? <laughs> huh. Paimon wonders what sort of person she is. At last, I have found you. You who returned from Juayun Karst. Who's that voice? Who's there? From Juayun Karst. Wait. I am not with the Millilith. Nor am I here to claim your bounty. Ganyu? Yes, However, Ganyu. I am an emissary of the Leo Achising. My name is Ganyu, Secretary at the Yuahai Pavilion, and I have come specifically to meet you. Secretary... Emissary of the Liu Qixing. Well, in concrete terms, I am the Corporate Secretary for the Qixing. At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's Special Emissary. Okay... Ningguang sent you? We were literally just talking about her! My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. I am duty-bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full. But I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. She invites you to her palace in the sky. An official invitation? Lady Ningguang said this. Invite him to come here. I wish to meet him. Okay. At the Jade Chamber, together we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. So that's the end of Act 2. And with that, the emissary who called herself Ganyu just disappeared. But we've received an invitation from the Leo at Chising. Paimon <laughs> still can't believe it. We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon <laughs> could ever count. We should be on our best manners. Paimon's up to something again. <laughs> An invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. You'd best be on your way now. But don't forget about the right of party. Once you've finished at the Jade Chamber, meet me at Dihua Marsh. Okay. Don't worry, we won't forget. Dihua Marsh. We'll see you there. A new star approaches. Act 3 now. We're now in Act 3. The Floating Palace. So this is the floating thing that I saw. The Jade Chamber. Oh, I got... Memory of Immovable Crystal? Isn't that for... Is the, is the wind and... I mean, is, is the Geo and Animal different? Ningguang. Ganyu. I wonder where we will find them amid these dark tides. Hmm. Well, I guess why not? We'll, we'll just straight away go to this uh, Mount Tianheng. Just continue a bit more. Okay. Look up there! That's the Jade Chamber! How do we get up there? I know because I think I've seen one person who can bring us up there. And from that place, <laughs> you're only re realizing that now. We should have asked Kanyu. Yeah. Well, since we want to go to the Jade Chamber, heading to its location on the map is the sensible thing to do. Yeah. Let's look around. There has to be a way up there nearby. Okay. Let's see. Eh? Uh, I think I know already. We're not supposed to go... Um, why are we supposed to go up here? More speed. Wait a second. Because I remember there was a person somewhere at the bottom that can carry you up. Good thing I never switched to... Hey, look! There's some sort of mechanism thingy! Don't you need wind? Since this is the right place, it must have something to do with the Jade Chamber! 
Maybe it's the way to the jade chamber? I don't think that is the way to the jade chamber though. Looks like a trap. No way! Just trust Paimon's instincts! Okay, Paimon. If it is a trap, it's on you eh. Alright, we got wind there. Yeah? And uh... Yeah, we're going high but not high enough. Oh, I think I have done this thing before, wait. Okay, let me try that again. Alright. <gasps> it only takes us up to here! Yeah, it doesn't go to that place. Maybe we should go back to Lear and ask the Melolith. Yeah, of course. Huh? Why? The way up shouldn't be a secret. Or... Or... Oh, Paimon gets it! If it was a secret, Ganyu wouldn't have let us try to find it ourselves, right? Alright, let's follow your plan. Then we can... Oh, hang on a moment. Hmm? Look down there! Looks like we've gotten close to the Guizhong Ballista. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Paimon has a new idea. Why don't we shoot you up to the Jade Chamber using the Ballista? <laughs> uh, excuse me? I don't have a death wish. You hate me that much. <laughs> I do remember the ballista had a scope. Oh, that's right! Now that you mention it, we could use the Guizhong Ballista to see if there's another way up nearby! Let me open this chest first. A reward on the road. It's just a Primo gem. Two Primo gems, okay. Well, okay, more than that. Um, Back to the Guizhong Ballista, huh? We're back here. I've reached. Now what? Oh, okay. Halt! Millilith. Who trespasses on these hallowed grounds? We're just passing through. These are the wilds around Mount Tianheng. Explain to them. What? Fight the middle of Oh my gosh. Okay. Stop. What's all this about? Wait a minute. Is that Kaching? Lady Kaching? Yes, it is. Two strange people suddenly appear. They seem to have designs on the Guizhong Ballista. Are you calling strange? We're just looking for the way to the Jade Chamber. Hmm? You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Who are you? Well, we're invited guests here to look for the Lira Chising. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, as it happens, I am one of the Lira Chising. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm Kuching. The Yuhung of the Chising. Okay. I know of you, Traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. Wow. 
Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shot out <laughs> here in the middle of nowhere either. The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhong Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. Oh, so that's what's going on. These Millilith are just here to guard the scene, not to arrest anyone. So, this was all a misunderstanding? Paimon never would have thought. The king is a dead heart, Paimon. Yeah, we should have explained this now. <laughs> anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery. Yeah? Even to the Chising. Really? Uh, that was... We only did a tiny part though. Yeah, it's actually Zhongli who repaired it. We just took some parts and... Okay. I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. Not wholly side with the Adepti? We're not taking sides. We spoke with the Adepti. They want to protect Liu as well. When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? Huh? Hmm? You are mortals and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. Mm -hmm. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. Well, you've got a point there. Still, this is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Liyue who doesn't respect the gods or should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Chising? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Okay. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. But to think that they would call for a council of Adepti rather than come down here directly. How surprisingly civilized of them. Ningguang would prefer to negotiate, wouldn't she? Any chance you could talk it up with them? Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyu at Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyu? <sighs> Another super bold statement! <sighs> I'll stop here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, Traveler. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. All the right. long schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. So, how do we get to the date chamber? But I think I know how actually. The cream of Lee was mercantile crop all see ascending to the jade chamber is the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. <laughs> favor? But, but, wait, that's right. Greeting gifts are a staple of Leo's culture. We need to get one. Not to curry favor or anything, just to so respect Lu's culture. Alright, alright. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how uh. to get to the Jade Chamber first. Okay. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhong. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Yep. Find a guide at the Yuahai Pavilion. And, well then, may we meet again, traveler. Well, that Yuhang may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. Mm -hmm. So, what should we give to Ningguang when we see her? <laughs> oh, right! Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night! Sugar frosted slime! So we're gonna get food again. Paimon has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like Ningguang. Why don't we go with that for a gift? Uh, how will we make this thing that you dreamed up? <laughs> Is there a recipe? With a certain boom shakalaka, of course. 
Oh my gosh. Don't follow Xiang Ling, Pai Man. <laughs> Let's go gather ingredients. Okay, Time great. Time waits for no one, <laughs> and neither will our riches. <sighs> there you go. And I'm adventuring 35, that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> Look for the ingredients. Alright. Rank Ascension 2. Oh yeah, because I'm rank 35. Great. <laughs> Well, uh, I think I'll stop here. I know there's some more, but yeah, I think I'll stop here. I've, uh, yeah, we saw Ganyu, we saw Kuching, and we helped out uh, Chi Chi with the coconut milk. God damn it. So that would be enough for this video. That's quite long. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time. Okay, I got 11 and I didn't realize, so I can do another standard wish, uh, standard wish times 10 eh? Let's see if we get another new character. I hope I can get any of these 3. <laughs> any of these 5 star would be great. Let's go. New character, new character, come on, 4 star. It's a 4 star. <gasps> Toma, I got Toma, okay. New character, yes. So yeah, only Toma. <laughs> Alright, I got a new character. A new fire, another another pyro. I haven't I haven't used Toma before, let me see. I, f I thought it was a uh, child for for a moment, no, it's someone else. Eh? Is he a uh, oh it's it's a uh, How good is Toma? I don't know. Let me switch to him first. How many pyro uses Where are we I headed have? this time? Ooh, 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 that's flashy. Okay, see my sound. Fire it up. It's a fire shield, okay. Well then, alright. <laughs> 